Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Bonnie Shi from QKM Technology. Um, QKM is a high-tech te technology to uh, produce a small and light industry robot. And before I start my uh, talk today, I just realized that after finish the talk today, I got my evolution square. This is my first TED talk, and this is also my first public speech in English. So good luck to me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, let's start today. Um, the topic is of today is uh, automation for humanity. Um, before I uh, start at the beginning of this talk, I would like to share my experience for my startup. Uh, almost 10 years ago, after uh, at the last year of my PhD degree, my supervisor asked me, what's your career plan? Okay. And uh, after several days thinking, we, I thought that um, there's maybe a, a huge opportunity for industry robots. Um, why? I will share later. And then, and after 10, uh, during the recent 10 years, I always met a question that people always ask me, uh, will the robots replace human beings? I, it's, really, it's also a question for me. I, I'm, I think about this question several times, and the question to myself is, what I have to do is meaningful to the human society, for the civilization of human beings. So after nowadays, I can announce that the robots the automation is not to replace people's jobs. Actually, what we, what's the mission of QKM or of the other automation engineers? We want to give human beings more respect be, to help them release from the meaningful jobs. Okay, let's begin this talk. Thanks to my college, Tom. He provides the theoretical reference for my, for my vision. Uh, it's Adam, Adam Smith said, the growth of social wealth is com coming from not from technology, but from the how to say, <laughs> social division of laborers. See, why? We see that um, human laborers, human beings, we work hard to get wealth. And uh, as we can go back to the history that as civilization proceeded, there's always two results. One is aging population. People will pursue higher quality of their lives, and the people will pursue their own uh, self-value realization. And then the people don't want to bear in too much child, <laughs> right? And another result is if people get more money, they can pay for better educations. After well-educated people, people will start to choose their jobs. There's more options for their jobs. So here, what's the industry? Uh, before this one, I think uh, we can go, go back to this one. I said the industry revolution come from the Europe, right? And then move to US, and then go back to Asia. Uh, before the economic grow up, people start, we say that the industry, all the human being handmade industries will go to, will still traveling around the world. And then it's come back to East, Southeast Asia, and see what's left in there. Still left in Europe and America, we sell that, the mobile industry, the semiconductor industry, all those industries that can be conducted by machines, by automations, is still sustained 
in the original area, and all those industries should be done by human laborers was go outside. Why? And how? And see, nowadays, we, that's the main reason. That's why I start my startup. I start the QKMs. We saw that those automations, no, no matter the mobile industry or the semiconductor, um, those kind of jobs at the very beginning, it's supposed will, should not be done by human. So humans start to pay a lot of attention, a lot of effort, even a lot of money to develop the machines to do the manufacturing. So people will develop the standard. People will start to pay for the expertise, like professional engineers, to do the development, to do the deployment. But for the human being, for such kind of the consumer goods, for the electric, uh, electronics products, those jobs could be done by human beings. And uh, they have very short lifetimes. So people, it's, if we could find somebody, if we could find enough laborers that could be afforded, we don't have any willing to pay money, pay cost, pay time to develop the standard, or pay for the development of equipment. So now, today, we met problems. After 40 years, China has a huge industry scale. And due to our parents, the old, our uh, Chinese people's hard working, and we paid, we afford a huge uh, manufacturing and provide all kinds of goods for, for the all over the world, for every people in the world. But now, Chinese developed, China developed. The young people was well educated, and we got few and fewer new population. Then, no, nowadays, the young, young people, if they, if they have option, no one willing to go back to the factory to do the human laborers, just do repeatable jobs, which were not treated by human beings, right? So that's the confliction, that's the problems. So due to the background, that's what I, the, <coughs> the opportunity I found that the robots, the automation, which will solve the human beings' problems, is totally different with those robots developed for the mobile industry. So, what kind of jobs, what kind of robots we need, or what kind of automation we need? So if we want to use robots to solve human beings' needs, then just go back to the very beginning. Let's start a human beings' needs. OK? So go back to the picture right now. That I see the picture several slides before. Now there is still a lot of hand-making industry. Millions of people working almost similar with 40 or 50 years ago, the same working style. Why? That's how it's size. For those industries, there's no standards. With no standards, engineer could not program, right? Engineer didn't know the work, how to produce things. He need to produce, he need to program according to standard. But if there's no standard, there's a lot of uncertainty. We could not assume an engineer who will never go to a factory to develop a robot how to produce, right? So some people size, 
uh, we need the smart robots. We need. We have to do the AI. We use AI technology. We use. We need flexible automation. Then, what kind of? What's the smart robots? It's just the robots like in the pop culture. We see a lot of different kinds of smart robots in any movies. Okay, and the, in reality, we have both dynamics. I think it's a lot of amazing videos in YouTube and in every social media. The robots is this. Robots is very extraordinary. He can jump box. He can dance. He can go through rivers. He can climb mountains. Actually, this robot has already been developed more than 40 years, and a lot of money and a lot of energies working on such kind of robots to make him more and more skillful. But unfortunately. This robot, even he can do a lot of jobs, is still not be mass deployed in the reality. Why? This kind of robot is initialed by NASA. They want to use the robots to help soldiers to get to carry heavy goods. So why? It's very simple. We can't give a Just、we can't、uh, give a dog with give the dog to a soldier together with the engineer, right? The engineer, the, the real scenarios is more complex than theoretically imagination or simula simulation. So, what's how to make the robot smart? We thought, see, it's the result. We like the mountain. There's a great deals. Even nowadays, no matter in China or in Europe or in all over the world, everybody says we need robots. We need automation. But see the result. There's only very few scenarios has already been solved by automation. That's why. That's the, we could not. I, most of the scenario has no standards, so it could not be developed by human be by engineers. Then the only solution is for this uncertainty. If the robots, the commander of the robots, it's not an engineer, it's the worker. Will be will the problem can be solved? If the worker will be the master of the robot, he can recognize the different scenarios. He can make the strategy, and we just ask robots to be at work as an assistant with human beings. Then the problem solved. So that's QKM's way. We developed an open architecture robots、uh, operation systems. And also, we make the graphical program、uh, tools, and also with those tools and those product, we can separate different de developer, just like the smartphones. We have one kind of developer that as the professional developer, they will program, they will design、uh, apps. Or design the tools in the robots and give those tools to the fields to the workers, and the workers can use these tools to give the command to the robots, and the rob then the system will collect all the heat behaviors, all the data, and we can do some、uh, intelligent calculation and to provide some、uh, suggestion to the. Fields, and then for, through that way, I think we can make the robots much smarter. Smarter. So that's the conclusion.、Mm, automation didn't replace replace human beings' jobs. 
we, what we what we want to do is just to make robots to release human beings from dangerous and from boring jobs, and help people to gain more respects, to gain more caring from their daily jobs. Okay, that's for today. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.